What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So the entire crypto market is not really flowing in the right direction, depending who you are. I mean, if you're a shorter of crypto, then maybe it's flowing in the right direction for you. But to see crypto, uh, to see crypto succeed, um, we would like to see it obviously flow in a positive direction. Things are increasing. The crypto market is down by 2% today. We can see overall, things are not looking great, you know, for Bitcoin, Ethereum, a lot of these other plays, they may be more flat than anything because it's only 2%. It's not like it's down five or 10% or anything like that, but it is down 2%. So typically you're going to see overall positions that are falling. There's one position though, that I wanted to highlight here and you see the title it's Terra Luna classic. Uh, Terra Luna classic had a reason to why it is increasing and it would have been increasing a lot more if we saw more bullish uh, a bullish time period in the crypto market. So people like to uh, focus on the fact that it's not moving as much as we thought and just be glad that it's moving at all. And this is the main reason why it's moving. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be talking about Binance burn today as well as any other burns that happened. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you guys want more of these uh, videos on Terra Luna Classic and on cryptocurrency. Also, if you guys want to check out some of the links down below, we have a link, link for Twitter, we have a link for Patreon if you guys want to sign up for that, as well as some of the referral links for credit cards and for different places to where you can trade cryptocurrency and stocks. Uh, all of those links are down below and um, hopefully you guys find value in, in some of those links. But Let's talk about Terra Luna Classic. Currently, Terra Luna Classic is at 0 0.000709, up about 4% today. While everything else in the market, if we go back to the original market, we're going to see it's down by 1.9%. Bitcoin's down, Ethereum's down, BNB's down. Basically, a lot of positions are down, but Terra Luna Classic is up. Um, currently, you're seeing volume, a volume increase of 128%. Uh, at $152 million worth uh, of volume there. We're also seeing the uh, fully diluted market cap. I don't know why the circulating supply is not really updating. So if you don't notice the rank, somebody pointed this out today. I didn't notice it until they pointed it out. The rank is 2592. So it's at 2,592 because they can't really tell you exactly where the market cap is because something's going on with the circulating supply. Maybe the reporting directly to it because of the upgrade, that's a possibility. Um, I really don't know. And maybe they're updating the circulating supply because they did just burn off for Binance because I didn't uh, see this before I started streaming earlier this morning. Um, but the total supply is still at a 6 point, uh, or sorry, 6.869. Um, trillion dollar market cap or sorry tr trillion uh supply um again volume 152 million dollars it's here but it is increasing and the reason why it is increasing is because of the burn that was done so binance um just to fill you guys in uh binance was doing a weekly burn way back when then it decided that they were going to uh change it to a monthly burn um, just to do something to where they're not doing uh, multiple burns per month, they're doing one burn. Um, and then we had an upgrade and we had a change to where um, 50, I think 50% 50 of the coins that were being burned were going to be sent to the community pool and being used for funding or something like that. Um, that ended up changing very, very quickly, uh, went from being that 50% to being 90% um you know going towards the burn and 10 percent going towards the uh community pool so having a little bit that goes towards funding to be able to help out the chain is understandable but having 50 percent of what we burn it's just dumb and binance obviously i knew they were going to react this way to where they weren't going to do any burns at all until things were fixed so they had a couple of things that needed to be changed we did the upgrade um all of their burns that they're sending 100 percent is going to the burn address being burned off forever um and i was able to break all of this down beforehand to see what the burns will be if and i didn't really have full numbers on all of the volume but i can kind of do a roundabout uh figure of what it would be for three months um and just understanding that it would be six uh billion per month that we saw from the first month um and if we see three months that would be 18 billion total um now i thought that it would be somewhere in between 16 and 20 billion um, knowing that we had less volume for a while, that it would be lesser than that. So that's why I brought in uh, the 16 or sorry, 15 uh, rate. 
uh, 15 all the way up to that 20 billion. I said that it probably would be somewhere around between that 15 to 18 if we were burning off 100%. But if we were burning off 50%, which I thought was more likely, that we would see in between six to eight billion. Now, I'm glad to see that we are at the higher tier of that and how much, um, you know, Terra Luna Classic was burned off by Binance was 8.849 billion uh, coins there. So almost 9 billion coins that were burned off from Binance itself, um, which is fantastic, absolutely phenomenal. Now, it's not the best case scenario. We could see a lot more burns with a transaction base or Binance could be burning a hell of a lot more. But understand that this is coming from probably new Terra Luna Classic that they purchased. Um, because if you think about it, they're not going to just pull from the own liquid, the old liquidity that they have. Um, uh, they're going to probably just take away from the overall amount of the total supply that's there, um, and not dilute their own position because that's kind of the problem, right? When you dilute your own position, you're putting your exchange at risk, um, of kind of falling level to some of these other exchanges who coins not doing any burns. So if they're not doing any burns. And what you're going to see is it remains at 300 billion that they hold. And then Binance is just lowering their supply by burning off their supply. So it's not really fair for us to put all that pressure on Binance, especially when they have 60% of the volume. Um, we want to see everybody do the same. Uh, but I have a whole plan that I, I plan on bringing up in another video. If you guys want to see that, I feel like it's going to be too uh, extensive to go over in this video. I did go over it in the live stream multiple times. But I think we need to kind of take this approach instead of going the the way that I talked about before, where it's more aggressive and all of that stuff. But we'll discuss that in another video. But anyways, um, you see my burn that I did here. I did 426,000 that I burned off. I took my rewards and burned that off. I do it all the time. Um, and it's not anything new. I'm taking my rewards. I'm burning it off. And I'm supporting... Um, you know, giving up something to gain something bigger in the end. I still have 50, over 50 uh, million coins. Um, I just took my rewards and burned those off, which if everybody decided to do that, we would see a lot that's burning off and it's free money that's going towards those burns as well. But that's all if you guys want to do it. It's not something that's mandatory, um, but I did burn. Somebody else did burn as well. And some other people uh, before on the 1st and on the 28th were burning um, right there, you see burn on March 1st, burn on March 1st, all, all that stuff, right? Um, we didn't have a lot that, that burned. And obviously some people are having some problems with uh, terror station or station as well. So that's definitely an issue, but either way, Binance burned a lot. They burned 8.8 .8 billion, which I was right to, to say that it would be somewhere between that 6 billion and 8 billion. Um, technically I was right, but I, I wasn't right at the same time because I said it would be between those levels. Um, but in, in my video before that, when I was doing a more basic calculation, I said it would be, if it's 50%, it would be a little bit less than, than 10 billion. And if it's a hundred percent, it probably would be somewhere around uh, 20 billion or so a little bit less than 20 billion, but higher than that 10 billion mark, just to kind of uh, break things down in more of a basic way. Then I started to get more complex and breaking it down a little bit more and giving more of a smaller range at which it came to the higher tier of that range. So I'm happy about that. And some people are just saying, look, this is not enough. And you're right. It's not enough to see the things that we want to see, which is quick gains, um, but I think there's, there's some solid, um, uh, solid things that are being done here from Binance showing that they do support the burns. We just have to find the right method to getting those burns, um, you know, it, everywhere, not just in one place like Binance, but also KuCoin and gate.io and Kraken and crypto.com and everywhere. Right. So we will find a way to do that. But guys, that's, that's the news today. Great news that Binance did this burn. It's not going to absolutely change everything, but to tell you the truth, the volume and the uh, the price would have been so much more if we saw this during a green day. If today was a green day, Terra Luna Classic would be through the roof. It definitely would hit over 0 0.0002, probably pr approaching 0 0.0003 actually. So uh, getting to basically a 100% gain at that point. I believe that would have been the case because you would have seen FOMO buying that's going into the market because people are actually buying. But right now, people are not buying. So you see an increase in the in the volume, but just not uh, enough of a, an increase 
um, obviously, or enough of the market increase in order to see the increase that we want to see. But anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, and I'll catch you in the next video.